Have you ever think why you are not getting shocked from a line tester? Different types of line tester is available in the market. But here we are talking about neon line tester. Neon line tester is popular in the electrical field because of the cheap cost and easy to use. The neon line tester is using to check the presence of electricity in the phase line. When you are inserting the tester into a phase line of a plug, by holding its insulated part, it not indicating anything. But when you are doing that same thing by touching its backside metal part, its neon bulb starts glowing. Because now your body is working as a contact between tester and round. It means electricity is passing to the ground through your body, that's why the neon bulb is glowing, but you are not getting shocked. Before going to the reason, we have to know, what are the internal parts of a neon line tester? Metallic rod. Resistor. Neon bulb. Spring. And screw top. The spring is used to keep the proper connection between the screw top and neon bulb. The most important part of a neon line tester is, it's a high value resistor. Mostly its range comes 1 mega ohms to 1.5 mega ohms. This high value resistor is protecting you from shock. When the electricity passing through this resistor, the amount of electricity becomes a very small voltage and current because of its higher resistance. So this small amount of current not enough to make you shocked. Example, if the available voltage of the phase line is 240 volt AC, it will become 22 volt AC and 0.25 milliampere after passing through a 1 mega ohms resistor. But neon line tester is not 100% safe. If the manufacturing quality is poor, it may make you feel shocked. So always check the brand name and maximum voltage capacity before buying a neon line tester. Hope you all understand now why you are not getting shock from a line tester. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel for more videos about technical doubts.